Hello, this is Phil Wester with Wester Apiaries. I want to do a little video today about how to install a nucleus colony, a nucleus colony into a full production hive. I overwinter my nucleus colonies here in Northwest Iowa. So the queen in this colony, in this what they call a jester box, I was raised last year and she survived a winter and she's got a great pattern this spring. And uh, so I, I uh, put these in jester boxes before I move them finally. I have a little entrance here um, that you can open and close. You just have to pull this little tab up. And it makes this uh, square like this. So you see the bees are going to start coming out. Um, you want to keep that closed until you get the colony to where you want it to be. I'm going to move this colony into number 23 right here. Um, ideally, I would put this gesture box on this hive stand, open the door, and let them uh, fly out and forage and orient to this location. After they uh, know where their new home is, you take the gesture box and you lay it to the side. And then you want to move the frames, um, the five frames in here, exactly like they are in the colony. Because they've got their uh, food, they've got their brood nest organized in this five frame nucleus colony right now to uh, be optimal to be efficient for them so you want to take that group of frames and move them just as they are in here in the center of your box and then i have um, some five other frames that i'll put in to uh, fill out this 10 frame deep so uh what you want to do yeah you open it up and i've got my smoker going i would just open it slowly and puff a little bit of smoke in there. Now I have a pollen patty in here because uh, they've been having a hard time um, foraging. I just put this in about three days ago. Um, I'll put that in there after I move the frames over. So again, just want to take these frames as they are and move them over. I see plenty of pollen and nectar here. That probably means the frame right next to it has brew and they're moving pollen right across the aisle. So I'm gonna move this in to position, oh, probably, I'll say third over from the side. Do the same thing to these frames. You'll notice these uh, bees are pretty gentle. Um, one of the key things that I care about in raising my uh, bees is to breed only gentle queens with gentle drones. So I end up with bees that you can handle without gloves. Um, I stuck a veil on here. Um, I've done this without a veil before. Um, just, uh, just know if you uh, get nucleus colonies from me, I will have checked them several times before I hand them over. And uh, I will not get them to you unless they're full. This is pretty uh, small, but since it's my own purposes, I just want to get these moved over earlier instead of later. And I'm just going to move each frame over, taking a quick glance at each one. I've got my marked queen right there. Moving her over. fourth frame and fifth frame uh, usually there might be a few uh, bees you can knock in there's not a whole lot in the bottom now I want to take these five frames and uh, and fill out the side I have one honey frame here um, a lot of capped honey left I wanted to make sure they had plenty of nectar I'm gonna put that uh, right next to an empty frame so when they grow into that, they'll be eating into that colony. Another frame with some nectar in it. I'll put that over there. A frame they can draw out some more. You always wanna give them something to do and work on. So there's a uh, nine in there and then finally uh, number ten now 
that's all there is to moving a nucleus colony into a full um, Landstroth hive. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that that makes sense of how you migrate from a nucleus box into this. Thank you for watching. I'll uh, put this patty on here. Finally, put the patty near the brood nest. And of course, an inner cover and an outer cover. Something to keep the wind from blowing the top off.